Hey everybody, Alan Schaefer at Custom Garden Solutions. In today's exciting episode, I'm going to put some insect netting over some broccoli and cauliflower, but it's also going to act as a shade cloth, so stay tuned. Before I get started, in the spring or early to mid-summer, have you ever looked out in your garden and saw all these white moths, maybe they're brown, maybe you thought they were butterflies, flying around and they're, you know, increasing in numbers and they're very active and you think to yourself, oh, this is awesome. Look at all that nature going on in my garden. Look at all those little pollinators doing their pollinating work. Well, if you're growing cold crops, C-O-L-E, not cold, but coal, C-O-L-E, or brassicas, like broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, then you might want to beware. Those cute little mothy butterfly things, there's a good chance that those are cabbage moths or one of their ancestors or relatives. And they all do kind of the same thing. They lay their eggs on your brassicas on the underside of the leaves. They're sneaky little guys. And then shortly thereafter, the larvae, the worm, emerges. And they're usually velvety green, about three quarters of an inch, half an inch, three quarters of an inch long, and um, kind of cute little guys and they'll decimate your plant if you don't take action. So that's why I'm putting up the insect netting. So another byproduct of the insect netting I'm using is that it also acts as a shade cloth. So cold crops and brassicas don't typically like extreme heat. There's a good chance we're gonna be in the 90s for several days here. So by putting out the insect netting, it's also going to act as a sunshade, probably about a 30 to 40% factor. So I'm getting a couple benefits here. And once the uh, plants grow so big and they're healthy, and now it's in September or October, I can remove that netting and not have to worry about the cabbage moth laying any more eggs. So just a quick episode today on why I'm putting in the insect netting and how it works as a secondary benefit being a sunshade. But I'm gonna put this uh, insect netting right through the weed fabric. Like this. Doesn't really want to go through the weed fabric. First two rows are typically kind of close to each other. They need to support the rest of the. You know, I'm putting these kind of tight this way. Because it's July, 
believe it's the eighth today. And by the time these broccoli, I just put in about a week ago, are uh, big enough. The threat from the cabbage moth and the cabbage worm and the cabbage looper. You know, and end of August will be a, be pretty much past. So these nuts don't need to stay on all that long. So I'm gonna make this real tight here since there's no plant right there. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you're new to the channel and you want to learn all about growing herbs and vegetables and all kinds of cool garden stuff, start today by subscribing and then make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything because you never know where I'm going to show up next. And everybody keeps asking for them, so I'm going to keep giving them the pepper. <laughs>